What's up YouTube? I'm Alberta26 and today I'm going to be talking about our strategy for Mythic Garothi Worldbreaker. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. It's a kill. We got a lost instead of a time warp. That's it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Set up for this boss, we utilize five markers. You could probably get away with just four of them. We've got two in the back, a little over 12 yards apart, and two in the front, also a little over 12 yards apart. We set this up in a pretty standard manner, ranged in the back and melee in the front, obviously. The decimation's going right to that fifth marker, and all the bombardments being run down the left-hand side. On Mythic difficulty, the boss will transition at 65% and 35% health, rather than 60 and 20. Just like on normal and heroic, there will be two cannons to choose from, and once you kill one of them, the boss does eradication. On mythic difficulty, eradication now also has a period where it sucks the whole raid in, making it very difficult to get far enough away to not die. Tanks can do it, but other folks may struggle. Uh, Warlock Portal is very helpful with this. Given the way the boss's abilities are empowered by killing either of the cannons, we found it was much easier to kill the right cannon first and the left cannon second. When you kill the right cannon, it empowers Decimate, which makes the Decimate stun the target in their Decimate. They'll get unstunned with enough time to get out, but the rest of the raid needs to move. That's where these two markers come in play. Have your ranged and melee groups stack on one of the two markers in their area. When decimation goes out, the whole raid moves and the decimations are left behind. Decimation also puts a pretty hefty dot on the entire raid and your healers will have to be prepared for this. We found ourselves cycling healing cooldowns pretty much from this point on. The fight goes on like this until the boss reaches 35% health. Everyone should use personal defenses and immunities for this second eradication. After destroying the left cannon, Annihilation becomes empowered where the Annihilations actually detonate twice now and do a lot of damage. It's imperative that you have everybody in your raid help in soaking the Annihilations in this last phase. The Annihilations also knock you back now, and so you can actually use this to be propelled from one you're in to one that's going to need a second soak. As long as you can keep up with the ever-increasing amount of mechanics and your healers can keep you all alive, as the healing is fairly heavy in this fight, you should be able to take down this first boss. Speaking as a tank, there is a one extra consideration to make on this fight. You can assign that the bombardment goes down the left side, but there is the RNG factor of the annihilations. They can actually appear on that side, and they do have to be soaked, and this can result in some pretty tense situations. Oh boy. Oh, don't do this to me, Alec. I'm gonna go sideways and then back over. Alright, alright. Woo! Right, can't. Another thing to pay close attention to is when you transition the boss for the second time. If you, say, transition him just as decimates are going out and somebody gets rooted in one of the giant beams, that can be pretty fatal. So ideally you want to do it either immediately after decimation goes out or possibly just as the debuff is falling off. That way the healing won't be too intense in that phase, especially since people have to run away from the eradicate. As long as your raid can manage the decimates effectively, and as Cash would say, Let's do the mechanics. Do the mechanics until the very end. You'll definitely down this boss and be ready to move on deeper into Mythic and Taurus. Fuck. Thanks. And that's it. Mythic Garathi Worldbreaker done. Next boss. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I tried to keep it pretty fast paced, but I don't think I left anything important out. Um, if you like this video, check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash alberta26. And that's it. Uh, until next time, game on.